From Metropolitan Stadium in Bloomington, Minnesota, the 1965 World Series. When the World Series arrived on the Bloomington Prairie on October 6, 1965, the Fall Classic featured a classic matchup between the powerful Twins and the pitching of the Los Angeles Dodgers. That year's Cy Young Award winner, Sandy Koufax, elected not to pitch the opener in observance of Yom Kippur. So the Dodgers dealt their other Hall of Famer, Don Drysdale, and the Twins gave the Los Angeles star a rude welcome to Metropolitan Stadium. A home run by Don Mincher tied the game at one in the bottom of the second. And a mishandled bunt off the bat of Mudcat Grant set the table for the league's MVP, Zoilo Versailles, in the bottom of the third. Deep to left. Home run. And Minnesota leads four to one. Before the inning was over, Frank Quillacy tied a World Series record by collecting his second hit in the same inning the Twins were well on their way to an 8-2 win. The following day, the Twins bested Koufax in a game that is best remembered for a sliding catch by Bob Allison in the top of the fifth. Line drive down the left field line and hooking from Allison who dives, makes a circus pass. Oh, what a play by Allison. Allison's defense kept the Dodgers off the board and Jim Cott went the distance in a 5-1 win. Jim Cott over Sandy Koufax in a 5-1 victory.